Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this Sunday, um, April the 21st, 2024. Wasn't it just March? <laughs> wow. Ah, time, time, time. I've talked a lot about time, you know, over the course of my journey, on the, on the course of my path. And on the course of my alignment. And I, I just find it so fascinating, number one. And number two, I understand a lot of people have a lot of mis, misunderstandings about time. They really do. And we, a lot of people plan a whole lot of stuff. And believe that their plans will fall in the line just in a line, not alignment, but in a line, exactly how they believe it will be. And that's fine when you set your goals. I mean, come on. Um, th this is what we've been taught. And a lot of it is just erroneous. A lot of it is just a bunch of rambling. And a lot of it is just swirling, swirling, keeping you swirling, 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 and not allowing you to escape or release yourself from a lot of dogma, a lot of uh, uh, unproven results. And in most cases, people are lying to you, manipulating you, indoctrinating you, stealing is the big thing now. That's a big thing for people for some reason. Everybody is stealing things. And when I say stealing things, I mean that on a figuratively and a metaphoric level, not only literally. Where every, you know, where you, every, it's just more rampant now for some reason. And I, and I, and I sense desperation too as to why it's done. Make sure they're not dry. Uh, I, I sense some type of desperation, you know, because the veils are being lifted. I could sense that. I can feel that. And that's something in internal that I'm picking up. You know, along with everything else I said, you have to you have to include your logic into everything that you're considering. You know, everything. Like I said, what you hear, see, taste, uh, logic, rational, is it reasonable, you know, abstract, subjective, object. You know, you have to ask all of those kind of questions. And then once you do that, then it's usually crystal clear what you what can happen and what cannot happen. You know, it's not magic and it's not um, uh, a lot of, uh, oh, God, wish, I mean, a lot of uh, delusion, illusion. I mean, it's the same, it's the same concepts, the same, you know, it's the same formulas that you have to use. And anyone that goes outside of that when they're, when they're attempting to tell you something, okay, they're lying to you. They're using you, manipulating you. Um, and I'm going to keep talking about this for a while because there's so many people that are afflicted with this, being unable to think for themselves. Okay, I'm not going to be holding hands. Of course not. Of course not. Uh, that's just like a parent. You know, when you, you know, when I was a young girl, I, I just wanted to know what's going on, what's going on. I was asking a lot of questions. Sometimes I know when I would go to the teacher to ask certain questions, I had a hard time formulating my sentences, you know, my sentences, see how I, synthesis. Um, I would get out nervous and, and the teacher would say, Michelle, you know, just, just come back later. And then we we'll, we can discuss what's going on. <laughs> we can discuss what's going on with you and this and that and the other, because I would, I would get so excited and, and, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's like, wow, what's going on here? And so, um, so that's why libraries were so important for my development. And it's sad, it's a sad situation that, you know, they're being tampered with, uh, they're being, um, used as a pawn, you know, it's always, it's, it's always a, an agenda behind why you do not want to educate people, especially young minds that need it so desperately, so desperately. And you have to reach them at a certain time. 
you have to reach these young people at a certain time. Okay? Um, so my efforts are to help the adults do whatever they can to reach the children. I cannot, um, I don't want to be necessarily responsible for other people's children. Okay. So I rather help adults do that. Okay. Uh, I decided not to have children on my own for a legitimate reason, which a lot of us are going to discover that in the near and distant futures. And we're going to realize what we've done. And we're going to be rolling in our graves, as they say, or turning in our graves because of what we've left behind for our descendants and our children and how, you know, the damage has been done. Okay? So, it's just amazing, though, you know, um, like I said, I get so excited about knowledge and I get so excited about learning things. But I had to learn to calm down, you know. So meditation was the perfect thing for me, you know, to calm it down, Michelle, calm it down. So, and it helped me to, you know, trust myself more because a lot of things were happening. Stand by. On this Sunday morning. Did I give the date? Yeah. Making all that noise on this Sunday morning. April 21st. Yeah. It's Sunday. So, yeah. So, I had to just calm myself down. Relax. Because I, w I was just... I was excited, actually. More so than anything else. Definitely, I just wanted to understand what's going on, you know. So, I had to really, really go through, through the process of figuring out on my own. I really did. There is, there is no shortcut to that. There's no shortcut to, to learning and developing. So anybody that comes along and tell you, okay, in six months, you know, you're going to be a millionaire. Or in six months, you know, you're going to uh, graduate and, you know, you're going to get a job lined up. You're going to, I mean, we are, we, we, we need to get over that microwave thinking. It's like a microwave thinking. That is, you know, you it's instant. Stuff is happening instantly for you, or or can. I told you, um, you know, when we got on the internet, that you know, it was a revolutionary time, but it was it was a time for for deception, un, unlike anything I've ever seen in my life, and I'm, I'm sure ever for this planet, what the internet uncovered. And unearth. So sometimes that's a good thing. You know, you sometimes you have to unearth the truth. You know. And it brought out all it brought out the worst in characters if you didn't have values and virtues, which started in your adolescence and your puberty. Um with us, when when we finally got on the internet, I'm saying people that were born in the sixties, uh Maybe seven, yeah, seventies and you know, seventies, sixties, fifties. For if you had, if we, you know, we should have, and for the most part, a larger number of us were raised in 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 homes where we develop uh, values and virtues, you know, from our parents. The parents modeling that behavior, the culture modeling that behavior. And, and in the culture, you know, the, uh, the culture had all kind of complexities of people, you know, that which I loved, you know, from all walks of life, from all backgrounds, from this, that, the other. We had the predators there, like I keep saying, the, uh, the, the, the criminal elements were there. But there was something different about that than now. There's something different about that caliber of people back then than now. You know, um, and I think it's because that they, they even though there's a whole lot of stuff going on around them, they still manage to develop themselves into uh, uh, 
uh, wonderful, genuine, good-hearted, continually developing human beings. Meaning they may have made some mistakes. Sure, they need to. They may have been misrepresenting this. Mis you know, we all were hustling, you know, uh, back then. Now it's, 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 it's a different hustle, just like anything else. Uh, right now, what we are saturated with is this encasement of negativity of thinking modes. You know, this get rich schemes. You know, I want, I'm the all powerful one. You know, one person or a group wanting to, to take over. You know, I made my mistakes in judging of character, and you will. You will continue that for the rest of your life and beyond. You know, of someone presenting their, their uh, judgment of character is a, uh, you know, the levels of how it can, it, like I I mean, I said this to someone that I care deeply about because we all have been affected by certain things, that sometimes even the gatekeepers, fall asleep on the job. I repeat, sometimes even the gatekeepers fall asleep on the job. And that means that, you know, and you need to be gentle and kind with yourself because you're going to, that's going to happen all the time. Somebody's going to always snake their, snake their way through our realities. Okay. Because the internet is teaching them how to do that. Just like the internet is teaching AI how to treat us in the future. Okay. So there's a lot of people that need to just get out of the way and allow some fresh, some fresh creative minds to step in that have genuine good intentions. That is, see, when someone's malicious, uh, deceptive, and conning and they're inconsistent and you can pick it up in their behaviors and actions okay so i think a lot of us are don't do not want to what is that word do not want to cause any problems understandable because we know how people will retaliate we know how people will seek revenge yes yes but there are certain things that we all can do where no one has to know we're doing it. Please understand that. And we also know that we have this free will that's wrapped up in that as well. It's a combination of things that you have to bring together to know how to handle a situation. And it starts with your thinking and trusting your thinking. That's why I said you could read a million books and it doesn't matter if you're not absorbing, absorbing the material properly and you're not uh, having the life experiences to support it. So anybody that's sitting around reading and thinking, okay, that's going to bring in, okay, you're setting yourself up. You ought to read and you need to uh, consider what kind of experiences can make this more real to me. You can ask that kind of question if you like. What type of experiences do I need to handle these upcoming events? You know, ask yourself these kind of questions and then your consciousness based on your developing of it. You know, I point back here again. It's just a habit. But your consciousness is going to allow experiences to come into your life to where it, it'll all make sense to you. But a lot of us are not paying attention to that. That's why I, I told I uh, put out a. A, you know, a type of meditation to a group of people that I care about. I um, I sense that they are, because uh, a lot of them are mothers, a lot of them are married, um, and I think they're going to be able to benefit from from so many things that are opening up for all of us because they are they are asking these kind of questions. They know something is going on that's not doesn't make sense. They know that there's contradictions all over the place, but they know that they need to keep a job because there's, I mean, it's kind of illogical to lose your job over theories and opinions. That's illogical, but that's what's happening. So that's why you have to be creative. Okay, you have to be creative because you know what theories and opinions are and what they mean. They don't mean a goddamn thing. 
How about that? <laughs> theories and opinions don't mean a goddamn thing. Okay? But theories and opinions can get the ball rolling, can get your thoughts, you know, flowing. And so that's why you have to be creative. You know, going out, I'm just, I said this a while ago, going out and protesting in the streets is dangerous and outdated. Dangerous and outdated. With all this surveillance all over the world, with satellites looking right in on you. Okay? And it's true. You So you're supposed to separate your theories and opinions from your job anyway. Why are you bringing that into work? Go into work, do what you are paid to do, and get the hell out of there. And work on something in a creative fashion to do with you individually. Because what you're working on always and forever is you. You can't tackle anything unless you tackle yourself. So think about what you're doing. Kind of release some of the extreme and you know being so extreme and tight and just stand just stand in a in a space of comfort just stand there and ask yourself okay what is really going on here allow yourself that uh, honor to just stand there sit there lay there and ask yourself okay what is really going on around me? What are my intentions? Am I seeking attention? Okay. Am I attempting to look better than I am? All that's getting exposed. Is anyone paying attention? If you allow certain people who have self-created their own demise without interfering in it and such, yes, you can make authorities know. You, you do need to contact the proper authorities and document that you have please document what you have you know and and it's and it's uh, and be safe about it you know if you can get video of it okay fine if you get audio of it fine but be um you know be reasonable about how you you do things and um notify the proper authorities if you need to get a book out or uh, to doc i mean to journal you know, put the date and time and, 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 and what you, you know, what you were attempting to do and what happened and just, just document it for yourself. Notify the proper authorities if you need to, if you feel safe in doing so. Okay. Because it's not, I mean, cause I said this it's, and it's true. Um, certain entities are not about protecting and saving us because they can't, they don't know how. They know how to use the technical skills, the toys, and all that stuff coming. They don't know and understand that, that it's human beings that they need to protect and serve. And animals, too. But a lot of attention sometimes seems to be going towards animals. But, you know, that's going to backfire, too. Right? Because it's going to be, you're going to be left with a choice of to starve or not. And I'm just going to say that and let that go. Now, so theories and opinions don't mean a goddamn thing, but theories and opinions can get the ball rolling. And so that's where you come in and see how you can uh, resolve things, you know, change your mode of thinking. You know, sometimes you may have to change your environment. Okay. Sometimes you may have to, um, you know, change your association, who you're associating with. And that's going to happen a lot too, you know, with the people. Because so many people are fraudulent and they lie about, you know, their skills and abilities, you know. And some, and I know sometimes we don't have time to be checking people out. You know, they sound good, but, you know, what, what's the evidence? And I'm telling you not to be beating up on people, but 20-year-old, 30-year-olds and below Okay, you ought to be properly discerning them properly before you take their their um, talents as such. There are so many so-called young people 
from back in the day that have were given these opportunities, whether it's in, it's more so in entertainment, you know, in Hollywood, you know, in the, the land of make believe. And a lot of those young people have been destroyed in their consciousness and they can barely function now as adults. They can barely function as adults, but they did fantastic in a movie. You know, some of them won Academy Awards as young people. You know? And and then and just imagine being a little innocent eye of a young person that's about the same age as that person. And you see on television all this attention they're getting, all these awards, and how they get their own sitcoms, how they have their own albums. Uh, 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 I mean, the list goes on. And where are they now? Some of them have all passed away before they made it to adulthood or while in the young adult stage. So we need to reconsider about these these 30s and unders and why are we hiring them and paying them all this money? That's just, you know, there are challenges, challenging things ahead that a lot of us are not going to survive. And I know um, we all have this, uh, this misunderstanding about our lives and what it means to be a human being and what it means to be spiritual as well. A lot of people are not going to see that and understand that. But as time goes on, and if you're paying attention to nature, nature is pointing you to the right direction of what can happen to you. But hey, if you want to, if you, if you believe you're, when you're dead, you're gone. All right, you're dead and you're gone. Okay, for me, that's not, a, that I, I don't have a, such a belief. I trust what nature tells me more so from certain human beings anyway. You know, talking to the dead. Okay, that's impossible. And it's fraudulent, charlatan, dangerous. And eventually what happens to people like that who believe they're talking to the dead, they end up becoming so despondent and depressed. They realize that it, they knew it was a facade anyway. And it's catching up to them. And then they're going to succumb to their, their own creation, sadly. There's not a goddamn thing any of us can do about someone that has 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 taken themselves in such a delusional illusional path of life not a path it's it's not even it's not a proper path of life you know it's a in, interference of the path in other words they didn't like what they saw in the mirror apparently and i can, I can guarantee you in most cases that's what it is so they'll just make up these things about because they'll hear someone else saying it and that's where the internet is is has come in and caused all of this uh lying about you know people that's why I say tell you tell your narrative uh before someone's before it's stolen but if you're telling a false narrative that catches up to you as well you know if you have genuine intentions think about okay what are you doing to people am i causing harm what's the benefit of what i'm doing you know, and make a decision. You have free will. Do I need? Do I want to continue to be acting this way? Uh, like if you work in a job, you know, that you're concerned about their culture or how they're treating their employees. Okay, first of all, is there documentation to support that? Is there, you know, can you find someone to help represent you in these in these battles with your job? I understand all of that. I I was into that when I had some issues in my former employment. You know, sometimes you do have to wake up some of the the so called uh, the so called uh, pyramid style leadership. Sometimes you have to interrupt that. You know, because they are especially if they expect you to be submissive, subservient, uh, and want they want to subjugate you. And think, you know, you need to be bowing to them and on your knees and, you know, and just being cowardly. You know, sometimes that, some jobs uh, expect that. And they're usually government 
run type uh, jobs, whether it's on a county level, city level, state level. You know, so. So I say, I mean, I'm not saying not to fight those battles, but you need to you need to change your mode of thinking about. Okay, demonstration does not work. Demonstration put you in danger, the environment in danger, innocent people in danger. Okay, and then it, it can it can it can uh, hurt your chances of, you know, being being um, taken seriously. You know, at some point, um, because you are with you know if you have to be be careful about the company you keep. I remember I used to go to these uh, events and stuff like that, but I always just kind of paid attention to what I was feeling about it, and and. Um, and I usually was on the perimeter of, and that's what I do anyway. I'm on the perimeter of things, just kind of checking things out, looking around. You know, like I was, I was at a meeting, like a business meeting, of, of, I guess a month ago or so, and I saw, I saw the people in there, and um, you know, um, I, I felt comfortable being there. Uh, I felt safe being there because they were all women. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Except that there were a couple of men there that were there for various reasons. But there's this one man. <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen his face around. And I could tell he's really gentle. And, he and, and you know, he's, you know, you could, you could pick up on that. But whether he's deviant or not or degenerate, you know, uh, uh, predator or whatever, Okay, I, I, that part I I didn't, I don't care to know. I just knew that the space I was in, with you know, I felt safe in there. So that's all that matters to me, where I go. Okay, and that's how you ought to be wherever you go. You know, just don't go walk aimlessly into a mall, you know, because you need that dress, you know, I mean, these pair of shoes. You know, assess the situation when you get to that place. If you're, you know, highly sensor, sensory enough, and you've worked on that, you know, kind of pay attention and say, okay, you know, don't just jump out of your car and just walk in. You know, oh yeah, yeah. People do that all the time. And that's why they miss that somebody is in their car. You know, maybe a child or an animal because they're like spazzed. You know, just just all over the place with thinking, 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 ruminating, ruminating. So. Sit in the car for a minute. All right, look around. Does it feel safe to you? Okay, and park in such a way where if you need to get out of there quickly by, you know, you know, getting out of there, getting out, you know, park appropriately as well. You know, take back some of your own responsibilities for your safety and not rely on law enforcement, not rely on security because, Law enforcement and security have enough on their plate as it is, and they, and because of that, they have been just vomiting uh, mishaps after mishaps, you know, making so many mistakes, making so many mistakes, because they do not understand people. They do not understand human beings that they're attempting to protect and serve. That's just, is that offensive to say that? Nah. Because a lot, like I said, I know a lot of young, they, they bring in a certain caliber of people into certain entities within the government, whether it's on a state, local, city level, whatever, that fit a certain narrative and have a certain um, bias. Uh, you know, they, they have a certain bias about, about how certain people look how certain people act, and they have these biased testings, you know, this and that and the other. There's just a whole lot more involved in the process instead of having it business as usual. It's not business as usual. Okay, so let's just interfere where we find it's appropriate to interfere. Uh, do not interfere with someone that's creating their own demise. Wish them well. Separate yourself from them. If you need to notify proper authorities, do it creatively, do it safely. Um, because a lot of that is going to be start happening and it's going to be, it's going to be rapid. It's going to be so many things going on and not to mention that you need to be 
paying your bills, putting food on the table, and all and everything else. Make sure you, you know, you can get from A to B. You know, there's there's just too much going on. So you're gonna some somebody's gonna slip through, and that's 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 the way of the world. You cannot stop that, and so do not attempt to interfere it, interfere with it. You know, a lot of times people start passing laws and ordinances. And like you know, they 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 you know thinking that that's going to help and protect people. All it is is a bunch of paperwork. It's paperwork, and they just and and they can they have no idea what's in these laws, what's in these ordinances, these statues or whatever. You have to do that individually to protect you, your family, your neighborhood, your culture. You know. You have to decide to do that on your, you know, and then, then, and then the like-mindedness will show up. It will resonate, and people will understand you. I know that's happening for me. Now, a lot of people that are doing the analysts and all that, and say, "Well, but she's not getting any. She's not getting any lights. Nobody's following her." They don't understand the energy, and I'm gonna keep saying that as well. I know that I resonate. I know that. So. Once again, uh, you know, I, uh, I I like to come on through, you know, share my experiences, share my um, acquiring wisdom, acquire, you know, the acquired knowledge and how I was able to cultivate certain things, contemplate certain things, you know, properly meditate and properly ruminate, you know, grounded myself in my reality, literally, figuratively and metaphorically. Uh, like I said, walk around barefoot as often as possible, but not on pavements and sidewalks. So, you know, walk, you know, you know, I mean, in your home, unfortunately, you know, you, you know, you, you know, you, your home is protected from the elements from outside. But, you know, make sure you keep your home clean as well. That's important. Clean your floors or have your floors clean. Keep your environment clean as best you, you can. Keep yourself healthy. Don't be extreme about food. Don't be extreme about exercising. Because once you hurt yourself, then what? I've experienced that, and, and, and then what? So, you know, just, um, just be kind and gentle and be reasonable about your behaviors and actions and trust yourself, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and um, close this out by sending peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains in the universe. It, it is felt all through the universe. Your love, the energy of your love, the act of your love is is felt. Okay, and I hope you feel mine. Okay, I'll be back. Trust me. <laughs>